Hey everybody, what's going on? Dace here and welcome back. Today we're looking at Tiny Pixels Volume 1 Ninpo Blast for Nintendo Switch. You can also get it on PC, PS4, and PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X slash S. Ninpo Blast is a vertical scrolling arcade shooter developed and published by East Asia Soft. It emphasizes scoring, and while I typically don't prioritize score play, this game pulled me in. But I'll get to the scoring momentarily. In Ninpo Blast, you control a hover bike riding character who flies through various stages, defeating enemies, collecting gear-like coins, and going up against a boss at the end of each level. Your character can fire shurikens and kunai, which are the game's spread shot and focus shot respectively. As in many games, while focused, your movement speed is reduced, which of course comes in handy. You also have a rechargeable bomb that can help in risky situations. The game uses an unlock system to help you progress. Between runs, the coins collected from destroyed enemies can be spent on weapon improvements, extra health, new levels, additional bosses, score-related improvements, new hoverbike skins, etc. The stages cycle randomly, and there are six bosses in total. You will face off against the same bosses more than once if you survive long enough. From what I've played so far, the difficulty increase when fighting a boss a second or third time is minimal. While the gameplay is simple, things really come to life when you buckle down for scoring. We have a multiplier that counts down and drops to times 1 unless you maintain enemy kills. The multiplier will also drop to times 1 if you take a hit. Maintaining the multiplier can be tricky due to enemy movement speed and behavior, their attacks, durability, and overall timing in relation to everything else going on. Sometimes you might need to speed kill an enemy to save your times 9 multiplier from vanishing. And you're just about to, but then a massive vine shoots across the screen blocking you from dealing the finishing blow. The bomb truly serves a greater purpose in this and other situations because there are plenty of instances where you won't have enough time to maintain the multiplier unless you bomb. You can unlock additional multiplier slots for a maximum of times 9 on the multiplier. Your multiplier is locked during boss fights, so you'll want to ensure you get it as high as possible before the fight begins. However, if you take a hit during the boss fight, it's back to times 1. One of the best things about Ninpo Blast is its online leaderboard, which is a huge plus. For me, games like this are almost always short-term experiences, but that is not a negative thing. I like having brief phases with scoring games like this because it's a different experience to pepper in with the other things I'm doing. While I know I won't play a ton of this simply due to having a lot on my plate these days, it's awesome to see how immediately and strongly this drew me in for score play. On top of that, it controls well, the pixel art is nice, and the music is fantastic. Here's a brief sample. To wrap this up, Ninpo Blast is a fun game, and I know a few who will really dig into the scoring. It dishes out a nice level of pressure to maintain the multiplier, and is another cool addition to my shmup library on Switch. If you're interested, the game is about 7 bucks Canadian or 5 bucks USD. A huge thanks to East Asia Soft for providing me with the game. If you enjoyed this video or plan on getting Ninpo Blast, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.